Hi, my name is Pedro Reis. I work as technical support engineer at Bentley and today I'll demonstrate an example on how to model a shaft foundation with reinforcements using Plexis 3D tools. We can start by creating a polycurve at structures mode. I'll be picking a random location for this demonstration, for instance 10, 10, 0 on the x, y, z direction. And this is the offset to begin the polycurve point. I'll come back to this in a moment. Our shaft is going to have a circular shape, so we can create a circle and let's assign radius of 4 meter. And we have our circular polycurve, as you can observe here on structures mode. If we go back to the previous tab, we can see that our offset is set to 0 as default for the local axis 1 and 2. These are the coordinates of the reference point of the polycurve that were specified. And here we can see the location of our reference point. We can change this reference point if we want to. For instance, since we know our radius is 4 meter, if we want the reference point to be in the middle, we can change the offset of axis 2 according to the radius of the polycurve. And by doing this, the polycurve will move 4 meter in the y direction, while the reference point still has the same coordinates that we have specified at the beginning. We can now create our shaft by extruding our polycurve. I will assign, as an example, 25 meter of depth. I will use this polycurve to create our first reinforcement ring and assign the material. And then we can use the array tool to create multiple reinforcements along the shaft. In this case, it will be 1D in the Z direction. And I will assign one ring every two and a half meters of depth, creating a total of nine copies of the original polycurve. As you can see, when using the array tool, the material information is also copied. Now we can assign the shaft material and interfaces. I will hide the interfaces for now for visualization purposes. I will now show some modeling strategies on how to include vertical reinforcements around the shaft. We can start by adding a point to our original polycurve. If we hit tab, as it is suggested below, the point will be snapped to the polycurve and I will pick a random location for this example. For the second point, we can simply copy the command from the previous point and change the Z coordinate. With these two points, we can create our vertical reinforcement using a beam element. Another alternative is to create the beam directly with the command line since we know the coordinates of the reference point from the polycurve and the radius. To create multiple reinforcements we can select our existing beam element and then create array, choose power and the plane is going to be x, y, and in this case we know that the center point is the same as the reference point of the polycurve. If this will not be the case, we could compute it based on the radius of the polycurve. And now all we need to do is to fill these parameters and click OK. I hope that you find this video useful and thanks for watching.